My microphone is going bad so I have to use these robot voices. I'm going to give you my opinion of the 2020 Cleveland Browns at the halfway mark and tell you what I expect in the second half as well as a prediction about the playoffs. Without a doubt our head coach was a huge hire by Haslam, finally. Really guys? It's hard to get good help nowadays. Kevin has restored discipline to this team. How nice is it to see huge plays not regularly being called back. He is even keeled and doesn't get rattled. I wish he would roll Baker out more as he seems to be best outside of the pocket and guys get open, but this is a work in progress. The players seem to respond to him and there is a lot of respect for him among them. He has hired top-notch coaches and that can't be overemphasized. I think the Browns dodged a bullet by not hiring McCarthy and, at least in my opinion, they have the right coach in position and Haslam needs RO keeps him in place. You can't talk about the Browns without talking about Baker Mayfield. Baker has looked both good and bad. Against the Ravens and Steelers he looked terrible. He never looked comfortable. Granted they had heavy rushes on him but a top quarterback needs to be able to adjust. He has looked good in other games, even against the Raiders he looked good but his receivers had the drop cease. In the Cincinnati game he looked as good or better than any of the top quarterbacks now playing. That's the Baker the Browns need. The jury is still out on him but fans need to be fair. He hasn't been able to master an offensive system yet because he is regularly getting new coordinators. I think that changes. Let's see what the rest of the season brings. Obviously the offense has been the bright spot. And now Chubb comes back. Hunt has done a good job in his absence but Chubb is a game breaker. The receivers are somewhat weak with Odell gone but hopefully Baker spreads the ball around now. He didn't show that in the Raiders game. The tight end group is a good one and I expect to see more throws their way. The offensive line has been solid. This is where the Browns can become solid if this line stays together next year. It all starts up front. We won't lose many games because of the offense. The same can't be said about the defense. What a disaster. The defensive front should have been a strong spot but Garrett seems to be the only one showing up every game. I'm not sure we have linebackers. They can't cover and they can't tackle. At cornerback Ward has looked outstanding and Mitchell has played pretty good. Greedy seems to be someone the Browns may never be able to count on. At safety? I don't even want to go there. This is the weak spot and I'm not so sure the Browns can overcome it. If you look at the score of the Raiders game you would think they did a good job. They didn't. They gave up long, long drives and made it tough for out offense to get into a rhythm. While we won't lose many games because of the offense we will lose them because of the defense. The Browns have a winnable schedule on paper. But the defense can ruin that. Houston is coming up and I don't see them stopping Watson. The offense may have to score plenty or control the ball with Chubb and Hunt. There are good quarterbacks left to play and that could be the downfall. Losing the Raiders game hurt as they will be one of the teams in the wild card race. I can see us splitting the remainder of them games, which leaves us short of the playoffs. Hopefully we can win 5 of the remaining and that may get us in. I'm afraid I see us a 9 and 5 and just missing the playoffs. I hope I'm wrong and we hit 10 and 6 but even 9 and 5 should make us all feel pretty good. Go Browns!